Hello, welcome to today's topic. My name is Chef Henry Omenogo. I want to welcome all of you once again. I'm broadcasting live unto you wherever you are. From South Africa, from Lagos, from Nigeria, from Cameroon, Ghana, I want to welcome all of you. My name is Sir Remain Chef Henry Omenogo. If you are interested in learning skills and crafts, bread baking, making of biscuits, ice cream, and the rest, you are at the right place. But today's topic is actually how to start a sustainable bread baking business. One of the things that you need to start any business is your foundation. If you are going to make good bread, for example, or run a successful business, the first thing you need is foundation, the fundamentals. If you can get those things right, you can get every other thing right. Let me repeat. If you can get the basics right, it means you can get the other ones right. Not all of us are cut out for entrepreneurship, but there is, success has a trace. Even if you are not born or you don't have the passion for entrepreneurship, the fact that you want to become an entrepreneur and prepared to pay the price, you can become one. The only thing you need is a secret. What is the secret? You don't need to reinvent the wheels. You don't need to start struggling on how to get it right. People who have been there is just what you need to model. Business is not rocket science. Success has a trace. You only need the principles. And once you can get those principles, that's the only secret that you need. So those are the things we'll be discussing today as it relates to starting your own bread baking business. The first thing you need to know to start and establish a sustainable bread business is this. One, you need to learn how it works. You need to go to those people who have been running the business successfully and just model them. You don't need to suffer. You don't need to struggle. You don't need to get frustrated. Find out from those who are successfully, I said successfully running the business. That's all you need. Once you can get that right, every other thing will take shape. Incidentally, how do you get to those people who have been there successfully? There are two kinds of people in any business. Those who are not going anywhere and those who know the secret and are going somewhere. And they are just the 5%. That's why you see bakeries are opening everywhere, spreading up down there in the village to the um, highest populated place. Yet, bakeries are also collapsing everywhere. And why are these bakeries collapsing? Because there is no foundation. So you need to learn how a particular business operates. Find the people who are doing it rightly and correctly. Learn it. I have been traveling from one place to the other, from um, Kumasi to Nkoko to or down to uh, Manpon to um, uh, as far as um, uh, uh, Boku, uh, going to um, Waliwali, going to uh, Vota region, 
back to Lagos, going to um, uh, the east, Enugu, Asaba, Abuja, and the rest. Is, it's all the same thing. I have moved from several bakeries to the other. I have taught those people, old timers who have been in the business for long. They just need new secrets, and that's why I go there. And from teaching them, I understand these things, the principles and secrets, the more. So, I always say, you are not too young to teach and not too old to learn. Get that recipe correct. Get that bakery operation correct. Get the principles of marketing correct. Once you can get this, how will you get them? Get them from someone who is succeeding. There is a secret here that others don't have. That's one. Let me repeat. The first thing I said is that for you to start any business, for example, bakery business, look for people who are succeeding. Now, the business of bakery is actually a, a creative one now. So, what used to obtain 10, 20 years ago is not what obtains now. The only thing you can pick from 10, 20 years ago from the old timers is certain wisdom, which they already have. So, that is just one of the things you need. The second one is, why you learn, formulate a good recipe with your teacher or mentor. Don't use a recipe that you have taken from your grandmother. Don't use a recipe that you've taken from the other man somewhere. Innovate, creatively change certain things. For example, what we do, with our customers or clients or students is this. When you take flavors, different kind of flavors, we mix them together. When you mix flavors, you have a different kind of taste. This is why when you buy certain bread in an area, you discover that the taste is different from what you have been seeing or what obtains in your area. People want to get bread that is just different from what they've been eating. So one of them is innovate on something you have learned. That's number two. Number three, on how to start your own successful bakery is your equipment. Some of us, we want to bake with pots, or what they call silver in Ghana. You don't bake bread with pots. You need to bake bread with oven. You don't need anything outside oven to bake bread. If you want to run a commercial bakery, the first thing is your oven. Your oven is very, very important. The other thing about the oven is this. There are different kind of oven. I saw today where someone was asking if you can use um, every oven to bake bread. No. There are certain ovens that you use to bake bread. Every other oven could bake cake because cake is actually Cake flour is from soft wheat flour. Bread flour is hard flour and is from hard wheat flour. The technology of your oven, the way it's constructed, there is a science behind it. Most of the ovens that will not bake bread or they will bake cake are meant for cake. The galvanized ovens, the ovens that have, have quality and can retain heat inside, those ovens can bake bread. What do I mean? It's not because you just see that maybe you bought an oven from, from a, a, a maker or so and then you start using it, you feel that the inside is okay. No. Galvanized materials are different from ordinary materials they are using for cake oven. Apart from using a galvanized, when I say galvanized material in any case, that is related to fabricated oven. So the first thing you should know is you can use fabricated oven for your bakery. If you have enough money, you can also buy a deck oven. Now, if you want to use the charcoal oven, which is the olden days uh, method or type of oven, it's okay. What I tell you the disadvantage is that charcoal ovens uses firewood. Firewood is very expensive now. I want to, um, uh, to uh, train a client somewhere in Epoma. I saw a bakery that is struggling right now to exist. 
they have been baking almost like 10 bags of um, flour every day. But it's an old bakery that is mold. You know, they mold it and firewood is there. The problem they have right now is firewood is very expensive. If you are using fabricated ovens, fabricated ovens can bake your bread very okay. Yet, you are using gas, gas cylinder. It's powered with gas cylinder. But for deck oven, deck oven is going to be powered with electricity and gas. It has its advantage and it has its disadvantage. So the three kind of ovens you can use are deck oven, charcoal oven, or fabricated oven. Whatever size, size of your oven is also not that important. You need to understand a science of baking your bread. Even if your oven is small, you can also turn out one bag, two bag, three bag a day. Ovens they are, are constructed in different capacities. You have the quarter bag oven, you have the half bag oven, you have the one bag oven, and then you have the massive ovens that can take three, four bags at a time. Let me recap. First of all, learn how to bake from an expert. Secondly, understand that you have to get your unique recipe. Three, or thirdly, you should be able to use the right oven. Now, if you don't have the finance to start with this fabricated oven, I know the next question someone will ask me that, like I've been asked all the time, can I use my kitchen oven? Why not? Some of my clients started with that. When they finished their, cl their classes or trainings, they started with the kitchen oven and progressed into buying the real oven for their business. They are moving. The third one is, so the third one I've said is your equipment. You must buy the right kind of equipment. What are the basic things you need? You need the oven, you need a mixer, which could be spiral mixer or local machine mixer or you use hand mixing. You can progress from there before you buy your, your spiral mixer or a, a local mixer. So these are the three things, the three uh, 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 different kind of mixers that you can use. If you don't have a mixer, you can use your hand to knead. In France, some of the organic bread that are produced there are produced to date with hands. They are called organic bread. So you must follow these three principles I've told you. The next thing that you need to do is finance. This is a critical area where some people give up. They say, no, I don't have money. The reason why most people don't start any business is because of fear, ladies and gentlemen. It's not because the money is not going to come. You see, opportunity must meet money. Some of us are prepared mentally. Some of us are prepared psychologically. But we don't have the finance. Once you have Once you have the idea, once you have the training and then preparedness of you going into a bread baking business, even if you don't have the cash right now, even if you don't have the finance right now, don't start figuring out why. The, most, the problem with most people is we are actually limited because of fear. We say we don't have money, we say there's no one to help us, and all of those stories. No. Sit down and write down a basic business plan. The finance will come. The money you need will come. Some of us could borrow. Some of us could carry our ideas to people who have the money for financing. Government has different um, monetary loan and uh, funding plans. You can be involved if you have the skill of what you want to do actually. So, for your for in, in terms of money. Start from where you are today. If you have a kitchen oven, you can start with it. Have the recipe, have the knowledge, and then start with, from where you are today. Start with what you have. You don't need to break the bank to start a bakery business. If you have a kitchen oven, why don't you start, get like 5,000 naira, or the next 100 CDs, buy flour and all the basic ingredients, and start practicing. 
when you bake the first one, give it out to others around your place to taste, and you improve from there. Then you send it into a, com a commercial, start make it a commercial venture. Once they can taste what you baked, and they say it's nice, once the next, the next thing is, is your, your, your plan to launch your business. You don't need 100,000 customers to start. You need it just one customer a day. So fundamentally, in terms of finance, look, be crazy, be determined. Go to places where they are giving loans. Go to microfinances. Look for government um, uh, agencies that are giving loans. Go out there. You write letters to eminent people who you think they have the funds and their philanthropists. They, they, before you write a hundred letters, on, on to, uh, write letter to hundred people. There is a likelihood that even one or two of them will ask you to come with what your business plan. Having said that, thank you, thank you for um, writing all the way from uh, Lagos. I can see. Having said that, what's the next thing you need to do? Once you understand the basics about baking, get the cost of um, the materials you need to use in terms of equipment. Then, the next thing you need to do in your business is to start. How do you start? Keep a particular day. Have a purpose. Begin to say, okay, by December 31st, I am going to start my business. Most of us started this year from January 1st with plans, but no action. And so if I ask right now, a lot of people started, but today, they never implemented any plan for the year. Ideas are nice, but those who take action will be the ones who can actually start that particular business. Bread baking is lucrative. Everywhere you go, one. Food business generally is, luc is lucrative. Everywhere you go, people must eat. Bread is eaten all over the world. And it's one of the things that is one food that people eat everywhere. So, you must be prepared to start yours now. So, from January up to this time, how many of us said we are going to start? How many of us procrastinated? How many of us started actually? How many of us are taking training to improve on ourselves? How many of us have invested in ourselves? You can skip a plate of banku and go and learn a particular skill. You can skip a plate of herba and go and learn a particular skill. Don't invest your money in clothes. Invest your money in improving yourself and then you have more money to buy those clothes. Don't invest your money in those cars. Don't put your money in liabilities. Put your money where you can get yourself improved. Bakery is one area that you can invest and have your profit back any other time. The next thing you need to do is this. If you are ready to start a business, be prepared to be patient. Impatient people are not entrepreneurs. When you plant a seed, first it's going to get rotting inside the ground and then it will sprout and start growing into um, a tree before it brings out fruit. That's exactly how entrepreneurship works. When you start your bakery, give yourself time to grow. Market your brand. Get a very yummy, chewy bread. Bake something that people can take and say, man, I think I, will, I need to go back to that place. You don't just go into bakery because you want to go into bakery. Make good food. Make it nice. And your bread should be able to last for 15 days shelf life. You don't bake bread that tomorrow it gets spoiled. When your customer buy and they didn't eat the same day and they keep it on their dining table the following day is spoiled. No, that is not what we need. You need to learn how to make bread that lasts for days. You also need to understand certain ingredients you need to use and certain ingredients you don't need to use. Today, 
prices of um, uh, baking ingredients are getting uh, skyrocketed in terms of prices. Flour is getting um, high every day. So you must learn how to cut your cost by using the right ingredients minimally. If you want your business to be sustained, you must learn how to use those ingredients minimally. You don't need to pour all of them. In fact, I, 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 I think uh, someone around um, uh, Nkoko or so bought uh, some ingredients from us, the flavors and the emulsifiers and the rest is. And then after one week, she called back and said, no, she wants to buy more. I said, no, these ingredients you bought earlier should be able to sustain you for four months. But she was just packing them into uh, her mixing and all of that. So you should follow instruction. That's why you need a recipe from an expert. You must use the little that you have to maximize your production. You must also guide waste in your bakery. The next thing I need to talk to you about is you need the right kind of pans. A pans to start your business. It's not just any pan that you can use in running your bakery. Have you seen uh, some bread that when you buy it, the side of the bread, there are stains. These are from pans that are not quality enough. Aside those stains, these pans, over time, within a few years or so, will get spoiled. You need quality pans, you need quality oven, you need a mixer. And then, these are the basic things that you need to start. In terms of your table, there are two ways to make your table. You can use formica on top of a, a, a plant table or wood, wooden table, or you can also get the galvanized table. The galvanized table is actually what Food and Drug in Ghana or NAVDAC in Nigeria recommends. If all these things are in shape, kick off with your bread baking. Where can you bake from? Ladies and gentlemen, the good news is that you can bake bread from your home. That's why you see in Ghana, street by street, there are bakeries. Everybody is baking and selling. You can start from your balcony, you can start from your kitchen, you can start from uh, your porch, you can bake from outside. Just get your oven and the basic things and start baking your bread. You know, these are some of the excuses people give for not starting. They'll say, no, um, you see, my place is very small, or I'm waiting for when I'm going to get a big uh, space, or I'm going to go and hire some. Those money you are supposed to use to go and rent or do other things, put it into the business. Start from home. I was in Abuja. Um, a bakery that I went to open in Abuja, actually, they started from their home. Um, that's a... Uh, uh, in Guagulada area, they started from their home, the, the lady started from the home and then built the bakery and, and then pushed every other thing to that side after some years. There is no excuse for you not to start. It's like it's a race. You have to start from where you are right now. I'm encouraging you, the year is coming to an end. What do you do? Some of, some of us, we didn't achieve anything this year and we're not likely to achieve. What you need to do is to sit down and ask yourself, what do I do with my life right now? If you want to go into bread baking, go into it. Start from the, I said, start from your kitchen oven. Don't procrastinate anymore. Apart from all of this, what else do you need? You see, your nylon packaging, marketing is important. And then the kind of bread you bake. In Nigeria, we have one straight bread. Nigeria, you hardly differentiate what a, a butter bread means or is and what a sweet bread is. But in Ghana, breads are differentiated. You have the tea bread, you have the um, butter bread, you have the sweet bread, and then the wheat bread. These are four major areas. Now, you can also start becoming creative with this bread. You see, when people bring all their bread, they just write maybe menog bread. No. A time has come when you begin to creatively change the pattern. What you do for you to market successfully in the in the um, uh, outside there with your new brand, 
or with your new vehicle, one of the things you need to do is to become creative with your naming. You can call it Chef Henry's Milk Bread. People just want to buy because it's milk bread. You could call it Chef Henry's Cake Sweet Cake Bread. You can call it Chef Henry's Sweet Butter Bread. You can. You have to innovate. You have to innovate. You must be creative in the name you give to your bread. Put it there so that the people can see this is milk bread, this is cake bread, and all of that. So that's what uh, one of the things you need to do. The next one is start gradually and see a long-term pattern. Rome was not built in a day. Five years from now, what's your bakery going to be? Ten years from now, what's your bakery going to be? Another secret is this. Those equipment you think you cannot buy, you can buy them. It's first of all about your mindset. We are limited by our belief system. The economy is, is bad. My uncle is not helping me. The president is not doing well. When he came to the, the, the coal economy, he's been there. The president is not going to buy you oven. The economy is not going to buy you oven. You are one of the fittest. You are born a champion. Champions don't fizzle out. You are a lion. You can buy any equipment that is being used for bread, no matter how costly or expensive you think it is. Start speaking to them today. And then channeling your resources into it. You may not buy all of them at the same time. I'm not asking you to break the bank and buy your equipment uh, just the same day. No. Buy the one you can buy today. If you are going to buy pants, buy it today. Start today. If you have 10,000 naira or 100 Ghana cities to buy pants, buy that one today. If you have the next 50,000 naira to buy a table, buy it today. If you, you, you keep planning, until you get the mixer, no matter how expensive it is, what amount is placed on it, you can get it. Once you have that determination, nothing can stop you. The truth is this, most of us, we have made a lot of money, even this year, but we couldn't buy those things. You know why? Focus. Power of focus. Your mind was not tended towards that thing as a purpose for you to buy. Some of the money will have wasted on other things, could be channeled into buying exactly those things we need to buy. Write them down, document them, start speaking to them, see them every day, write them in several, in several, in several notes. Write, I want to buy or I am the owner of this mixer of so so and so amount by so so and so date. Write them in several places, place them in your purse, place them in your bag, place them by your bedside. Every time you wake up each day, you see them and you speak to it, I will buy you. That is a principle that is called law of attraction. You are attracted to what you think you are, you, you, you are worth. You can buy them. Every other person that bought those equipment, they didn't buy it, just uh, uh, they, they, they bought it because they had that determination. You can buy those equipment. And then you can dream big. Start small today, but dream big. When you look at, have a picture of what your bakery is going to look like. Have a, that picture and start today. Start gradually until you get there. It's a goal. It's a target. Now, let me tell you a little bit of what I want to do from 1st of October to 10th of October. 1st of October to 10th of October, I'm actually organizing my online, 10 days online uh, birthday class. And what I've, I've decided to do is to do something different. I am gifting my fans and clients who are joining that class. One of the things I'm, I'm going to give out is this. We are going to teach about ice cream making and then bar ice cream making. These are, uh, this is ice cream popsicle. I am giving out this to, to among the first hundred people that are joining that class by paying. And the money for the class, the fee for the class is just 25 Ghana cities or 1,100 there, and you are in the class. You have 247 access to the class. This is what? Ice cream popsicle. I am giving out this during the period. I will also be giving out this. This is chocolate 
making mold and shall be giving out this to some people who are lucky the lucky ones will get this i shall also be giving out some of the things that we do these are what are these these are soap molds for making tablet soap for making washing soap soap bars i am giving out the mold to some people let me show you exactly what i shall be giving out this is soap mold have you seen it so the class is just how much 1100 get you into that class and what am i going to be teaching with 1100 or ganas 25 paid by mobile money i shall be teaching bread baking and i shall be covering wheat bread ring bread rolls sweet and butter bread and then braided bread these are what we shall be covering i shall also be teaching you how to make tomato paste i shall also be teaching how to make um uh, apart from the tomato paste i shall also be teaching you how to make cookie biscuits i shall also be teaching you how to make cola drinks pineapple drinks orange drinks yogurt and ice cream and one of the things we're introducing also is this alata soap ghana alata soap for beauty uh, glowing skin that's one of the things i shall be teaching you with my partners on during that period 10 days 10 days and we'll also be introducing what one of the newest course we're introducing is how to make nylon uh, from home or from anywhere and sell you know nylon the ones they use in them um, um, selling uh, uh, rice the one they use in selling bank packaging banku, the one they use in uh, packaging salt, sugar, the one they use in um, uh, selling groundnut and the rest things, uh, the ones they use in uh, 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 packaging or wrapping a uh, uh, cake. All of these are what I shall be teaching from 1st October to, 20, to, to 10th of October. 10 days course. Now it's online, purely online, and you, it doesn't. It, it's not going to. Um, obstruct with your normal day uh, job we are starting by 7 p.m every day so it's after when you close from work you will settle down and we start the class and um when we finish you shall have your videos during this period also videos are involved uh, ebooks i shall be giving out a lot of things all you need is just 1100 or 25 ghana cities paid by momo I shall send the uh, link to where you can actually pay through after the class. But you can also send me WhatsApp message for you to get every other uh, payment details. Now, when you do that, for the first hundred people to join, they are the ones that are getting, you have the opportunity of getting these things I've actually displayed as gift during the time. This is where I'm going to sign off. I um, thank you for uh, embracing this, uh, our first live uh, teaching, which we shall be uh, doing every week. So once again, thank you for your time. And I encourage you to join this class that I've just mentioned. My name is Chef Henry Olmenogo. For those of you from Ghana, from South Africa, from Nigeria, from Cameroon, Liberia, where again, Tanzania, Kenya, I say kudos to all of you. You all are winners and I encourage you to keep winning. God bless you and thank you. Bye for now.